May I have the communion element? All to Jesus, I surrender. I want us to resign ourselves tonight to his perfect holy presence, his will. If you need the elements while John's leading us in worship, just lift your hand. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Psalm 103, verse 2 and 4. And forget not all his benefits. This is a command to not forget. Forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all, say all, all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. It's not just the Lord's will to heal you. It's to crown you with love and compassion. Psalm 107, verse 19 through 21. Don't turn there. Just close your eyes and listen. And then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. Oh, what a precious Jesus. That's all you need to do sometimes. And he saved them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. And he rescued them from the grave. And let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. 
He heals the brokenhearted. Psalm 147, and binds up their wounds. If you've come in tonight with a broken heart, thinking it's absolutely incurable, sometimes a broken heart seems more difficult than a broken leg. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the balm of Gilead cover your broken heart right now. May forgiveness be yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. My son, listen there. Just receive the word of God. Give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Lord, that's what we're doing tonight. Giving attention to your words. Oh, I sense his touch already. We incline our ear to your sayings. We've been listening to your word all night. Now we sense your presence. You are the word. You are the word. And do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Oh, I give you praise. Surely he took our infirmities. Listen, 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 friends. And carried our sorrows. Surely he did it. He took our infirmity, our sicknesses, carried our sorrow, our pain, our emotional pain our broken hearts. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquity. He was bruised inside for our inner sin, iniquity. And the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. You can leave with peace tonight, not as the world gives it. Jesus said, my peace I give unto receive the peace of God here tonight. You watching in your homes. May the peace of the Holy Spirit flood that house. Those of you fearful right now because of sickness, receive the peace of God. You are in but not of. You are children of heaven. You are pilgrims passing through. We are those who sleep. Death is not our portion. It was pierced for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Oh, I love this. Just sit and listen. The Holy Spirit speaking through Jeremiah. feel the Lord. Jeremiah 8.22 Is there no balm in Gilead? The word Gilead means worship. Is there no balm? A balm is for healing. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in a place like this where there's worship? Is there no healing in worship, friends? Then the Holy Spirit through Jeremiah says, Is there no physician there? In other words, don't you know that Jesus lives among a people who praise and worship? And have you forgotten that he's the physician? Take these elements in a very prayerful state. Just take them in a very prayerful state. Just, just hold them here. Take the bread out. Mm, don't, don't, don't look at anything but Jesus now. There 
just power, power, softly, wonder, or just play it, wonder working power. Heal me, O Lord, Jeremiah 17, 14. And I will be healed. Why don't you say that now if you need a healing? Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. If you need a miracle, just say that. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you're the one I praise. Behold, I will bring health and healing. I will heal them, Jeremiah 33, and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Ezekiel 47, verse 8, he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region. It goes down into the valley. Are you in the valley tonight? valley tonight I know of a river that flows into the deepest valley and enters the sea and when it reaches the sea that dead sea its waters are healed I know of a water and a river that brings the dead to brings the hopeless hope that brings the depressed freedom that brings the oppressed liberation for my yoke is easy and my burden is light wonderful Holy Spirit even before we receive your precious precious meal the body and blood of Jesus you begin to flow now and let the sense of your presence Lord the sense of your glory touch your people now like a glorious river that reaches the dead sea of our life and heals us and it shall be that every living thing that moves, wherever the rivers go, will live. Oh, hallelujah. And there will be a very great multitude of fish because these waters go there, for they will be healed, and everything will live wherever the river goes. But to you who fear my name, Malachi 4, Son of righteousness shall arise. Just close your eyes and listen. That's all you have to do is listen and receive. The Son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat like stall fed calves, speaking of the presence of the Spirit. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing, healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Take this bread, would you? Just hold it. Lord, tonight we're seated in your presence. Seated right here. We hear your words, Holy Lord, eagerly, eagerly, I have desired to celebrate this Passover with you. 
you are eager to dine with us where you are both the host and the meal you are the message and the meal you are received but never entirely consumed for you are all in all you come to us tonight in this holy sacrament of communion as bread and wine is there any food on earth that's more universal than bread anything more available and you've made yourself available this is your heart and your holy body as you told the Jews I am the bread that comes down from heaven you are the heavenly manna and that precious body of yours was ripped and torn and shredded to pieces that ours would be made whole And so before we receive tonight, we ask you to forgive our sins. I'm telling you guys, I sense the Lord so strongly. Forgive our sin, Holy King. They are many. They are many. We certainly don't sit here tonight in our own righteousness, no. We are blood-bought by the grace of God. We ask you to cleanse us tonight and forgive us. And we release those who hurt us. Forgive our sin as we forgive those who've sinned against us. Release us tonight as we release others. lifted up I will draw all men unto myself and you were lifted on the cross and you said for as often as we receive this meal we declare the Lord's death until he comes and so Lord I take the authority you've given me this house and I declare that Jesus Christ son of the living God suffered and died and that he who knew no sin became sin that he took our you took and carried our sin You have overcome, Holy King. Now I pray that as I receive your precious body, that the power of the Holy Ghost would flow through everything broken in this room and under the sound of my voice. And that you, wonderful Holy Spirit, the breath of God, 
You're the one who destroys the enemies of the Lord. And drive sickness out, spirit, soul, and body. Drive it out. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's receive. lead us in a chorus. Just one. There's power, power, wonder working power. There is power. Sing it softly, church. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no removal of sin, your word says. Your word says it's the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. Oh, the blood of Jesus, the most powerful substance the earth has ever seen. Blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord, for shedding your blood. Whatever you do, don't look around right now. Look at him. As we meditate on the scriptures. Thank you for shedding your blood from your brow. As they beat that crown into your holy head and face. And you traded heaven's crown for the crown of the curse thank you for taking that beating upon your face and you were marred beyond recognition that we would be recognized before the father thank you for being stripped that we would be clothed in your righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for giving your face like flint when your beard was plucked out. Thank you for not defending yourself that we would be defended by you as a sheep led to the slaughter before its shearers you were silent thank you Lord for your back being given at that whipping post if you didn't want to heal us why would you waste your time there it's by your stripes we're healed and they didn't need to tie you have held on just for us. Oh, holy Jesus. Thank you for receiving the spittle of an entire
entire garrison of soldiers. And your blood and that spittle met on your holy face. And the worst men could offer collided with the best God could offer, the blood of Jesus. And the blood is overcome. The blood has overcome our worst. Thank you for the nails that went through your hands. Those precious hands that still are stretched forth tonight to touch our infirmity, to touch our weakness, our pain, inside and out. Thank you for the nails that went through your feet. Thank you, Jesus, for the wound in your side that leads us to your heart. And from your heart, healing flows. Thank you for your holy blood. Tonight we lift the cup, the cup of the new covenant in your blood that is shed for us for the remission of our sin and our great deliverance. Joel, make sure you're playing. John, you receive, receive it, John. Receive communion. Make sure you are. I don't know if you are, I'm not going to look. tonight as you promised I plead the blood in Jesus mighty name I plead the blood over everyone here in Jesus name let's receive Sit there quietly now. Quietly. I want the church just to sing. There's power, power, wonder-working power. And then nobody should go here. Nobody comes here. Camera guys, nobody. Nobody here. Sing at church. There's power, power, wonder.